Kathy with All Around K-Town and today I look like this because it has been way too hot in LA to put on any makeup or put my hair down so I am going to show you the perfect place to eat when it's freaking hot and that is Naengmyeon so let's go eat some good food all right all right ask anyone in LA where to get Naengmyeon and they will say Yucheon and I'm going to say that will be my first response as well. It's been about two years the new location has been open on Vermont and 8th and I ain't mad at it at all. It's super close to where I live rather than driving all the way to Olympic for the first location, Yuton. For those who doesn't know what Ningmyeon is, it is a cold dish made from arrowhead root. Sounds kind of sus but the texture of the noodles is actually a lot more chewier and which makes the cold noodle dish have a lot more texture. And on a hot summer like this year, Naengmyeon is a great lunch or dinner fix to refreshen up your day. So in this video, I'm here to tell you why the second location is better for my preference. Yes, as I mentioned earlier, it is a lot closer to my house, but of course I have a lot more other reasons as well. I believe the prices are the same from the both locations of Yucheon, and of course the most popular item on the menu is the Kaibi Naengmyeon combo, or also a bowl of Naengmyeon and kimchi bandu. I honestly think everything here tastes a lot more fresh. My idea is that the, because of the Olympic one is always busy, they always pre-make the dumplings the day before and freeze the eggs as well, but who knows, that is just my idea. The Yuchen here on Vermont location is just a lot more cleaner to me. I actually eat my egg in a Ningmen, which I usually don't. They also have the self-serve broth to drink as you wait for your food. It's unlimited guys, so get your canteens ready and take that to go home. I don't even have to add the vinegar and mustard additionally to my naengmyeon because the broth is extremely rich. Even the cold broth is just super flavorful. And the hot self-serve broth is refreshing. I oddly also think the portions are a tad bit bigger here which I really appreciate. Ask the servers for extra cold noodle broth when you order the pibi naengmyeon to mix the noodles, it's a lot more easier. It's simple guys, they have three different kinds of naengmyeon. Mul naengmyeon, which is just a classic cold noodle dish with cold broth. Then they have the pibin naengmyeon, which is like a spicy cold noodle dish if you prefer spicy. And hui naengmyeon, for those who like skate fish. This fish has a lot of bones on the outer layer, which has this extreme hard chewy texture. Of course, it's all on everyone's preference. It doesn't get much better than this. They have other menus like stone pot rice, knife cut noodles, to spicy rice cakes. I practically ordered the whole menu here before and can certainly tell you most everything here is a winner.
If you guys enjoyed this video, please let me know in the comment box below. Make sure you guys subscribe to Google TV and Captain Kimchi, and I'll see you guys next time for all our K-Town. Bye!